This video is to show you how to send a photo or image to your GP practice using the Accurate system. They may ask you to do this. It is a quick and easy method of sending images or other documents to your practice and simply put, we'll show you how to take the best photo possible. In order to do this, you do need a text message from your practice to give you instructions on how to do so. And there we go, it's arrived for us. So, to open the message, as you can see, the instructions are quite clear. This is using test patient's data and simply asks us to use the below link to take a photo in good lighting and in landscape format. And you'll see why in a second and use something to provide scale. The additional thing that you can see in this template message is that by sending this image, you can send to the practice storing this for use for your medical records. As you can see, there is a web link that you need to open. And it'll ask you to open it further. On doing so, it confirms your name and it'll ask you to complete the survey. So tap yes. To confirm it is yourself, it will ask for your date of birth. I'm going to put this in for our test patient right now. The next screen will give you further details of what you need to do. You can either reply by typing a message or adding a photo. So we're going to add a photo. Please note on the next screen you will see images in my camera reel. And as a result they will be blurred out. So tap on attach photo. When doing so it gives you further instructions on what you need to do which we highlighted earlier. And I'm going to click choose photo. I could choose one of the photos already in my camera reel, however I'm going to show you how to take an image. So here's the 20p coin that I said to use a scale, and here is my hand, and I'm going to take a photo, and use that. It will then load this image into the message. Depending on the size of the image and your internet speed, this may take a few seconds or a minute or so. As you can see, the image is in a different orientation to what I took, and this is because I did not turn the phone into landscape. So we're going to do that again. I'm going to cancel the image by tapping on the cross and click choose photo again. Click camera. And this time I'm going to turn my camera to the side. And take an image again of my hand. And click yes. It's important to remember to take clear margins for the image that you're trying to send and try not to show any identifiable information. As you can see, that image is the correct orientation and a clear image of my hand with a 20p coin to provide scale. Then tap next. All I have to do now is submit it. And on doing so, I get a text message to confirm that the practice has received my image. Also doesn't indicate that I may not get a response immediately and if there's any further questions, contact the reception. I hope you found this video useful to explain how to take a photo and send to your practice using the Accurate system. Remember, EGP Learning is here to help save you and your patients time by tech enhancing their primary care and learning. Catch you in the next episode.